Here are 25 most asked interview questions along with detailed answers for a fresher. Applying for a data science position to help candidates prepare thoroughly for interviews. 1. What is data science and why is it important in today's business landscape? Answer. Data science is a multidisciplinary field that uses scientific methods, algorithms, processes, and systems to extract knowledge and insights from structured and unstructured data. It's important because it helps organizations make data-driven decisions, gain competitive advantages, and solve complex problems more effectively. 2. Can you explain the data science workflow or life cycle? Answer. The data science life cycle typically consists of the following stages. Problem definition, data collection, data per-processing, exploratory data analysis, EDA. Feature engineering, model selection, model training, model evaluation, deployment, and monitoring. 3. What is the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning? Answer. In supervised learning, the model is trained on labeled data, where the algorithm learns to predict an output based on input features. In unsupervised learning, the model works with unlabeled data to find hidden patterns or groupings within the data. 4. What is overfitting, and how can you prevent it? Answer. Overfitting occurs when a model learns the training data too well, and performs poorly on unseen data. To prevent it, you can use techniques like cross-validation, regularization, and increasing the amount of training data. 5. Explain the terms precision and recall. Answer. Precision is the ratio of true positives to the total predicted positive instances while recall is the ratio of true positives to the total actual positive instances. Precision emphasizes the accuracy of positive predictions, while recall focuses on capturing all positive instances. 6. What is feature engineering and why is it important? Answer. Feature engineering involves creating new features or transforming existing ones to improve a model's performance. It's essential because well-engineered features can help the model capture relevant patterns and relationships in the data. 7. What is the curse of dimensionality? Answer. The curse of dimensionality refers to the problems and challenges that arise when working with high-dimensional data. It can lead to increased computational complexity and sparsity in data, making it harder to build effective models. 8. How do you handle missing data in a dataset? Answer. Missing data can be handled by imputation methods such as mean, median, or mode imputation, or by using more advanced techniques like predictive modeling or interpolation. 9. Explain the concept of bias-variance trade-off in machine learning. Answer. The bias-variance trade-off refers to the balance between a model's ability to fit the training data low bias and its ability to generalize to unseen data low variance. Increasing model complexity reduces bias, but may increase variance and vice versa. 10. What is cross-validation, and why is it important in model evaluation? Answer. Cross-validation is a technique where the dataset is divided into multiple subsets folds to train and evaluate a model multiple times. It helps assess a model's performance on various subsets of data and provides a more robust evaluation. 11. Explain the concept of regularization in machine learning. Answer. Regularization is a technique used to prevent overfitting by adding a penalty term to the model's cost function. Common forms of regularization include L1 lasso and L2 ridge regularization. 12. What is the difference between classification and regression algorithms? Answer. Classification algorithms predict discrete categories or labels, while regression algorithms predict continuous numerical values. 13. What is the rock curve, and what does it measure? Answer. The receiver operating characteristic rock curve is a graphical representation of a classifier's performance. It measures the trade-off between true positive rate sensitivity and false positive rate 1 specificity at different threshold values. 14. What is the purpose of data per-processing, 
and what techniques are involved? Answer. Data preprocessing is the process of cleaning and transforming raw data into a suitable format for analysis. Techniques include handling missing values, encoding categorical variables, scaling features, and outlier detection. 15. Can you explain the concept of a decision tree and how it works? Answer. A decision tree is a supervised learning algorithm that represents decisions and their consequences as a tree-like structure. It splits the data based on the most significant attribute at each node, aiming to maximize information gain or Gini impurity reduction. 16. What are the advantages and disadvantages of using deep learning techniques in data science? Answer. Advantages include the ability to learn complex patterns and representations. Disadvantages include the need for large datasets, computational resources, and interpretability challenges. 17. What is cross-entropy loss, and how is it used in classification problems? Answer. Cross-entropy loss measures the dissimilarity between predicted and actual probability distributions. It's commonly used in classification problems as a loss function to optimize model parameters. 18. How do you assess model performance in a regression problem? Answer. Common regression performance metrics include mean absolute error MAE, mean squared error MSE, mean squared error RIMSE, and our squared coefficient of determination. 19. Explain the concept of ensemble learning. Answer. Ensemble learning combines the predictions of multiple machine learning models to improve overall performance. Common ensemble techniques include bagging for example, random forest, and boosting for example, add a boost. 20. What is the difference between K means clustering and hierarchical clustering? Answer. K means is a partitioning clustering technique that assigns data points to K clusters. While hierarchical clustering builds a hierarchy of clusters, allowing for more complex structures. 21. How can you handle imbalanced datasets in classification problems? Answer. Techniques to handle imbalanced datasets include resampling oversampling minority class or undersampling majority class. Using different evaluation metrics, for example, F1 score, and applying synthetic data generation techniques. 22. What is the importance of data visualization in data science? Answer. Data visualization helps in understanding data patterns, communicating findings effectively, and aiding in decision making. It provides insights that may not be apparent from raw data. 23. What is the role of skull in data science? And can you provide an example of a skull query used in data analysis? Answer. Skull is used to retrieve and manipulate data from relational databases. Please provide an example query of Skull to retrieve data with some conditions. 24. How do you handle multicollinearity in feature selection for regression models? Answer. Multicollinearity occurs when predictor variables are highly correlated. Techniques to handle it include removing one of the correlated variables or using dimensionality reduction techniques like Principal Component Analysis PCA. 25. Can you explain the concept of A or B testing and its relevance in data science? Answer. A or B testing is a method for comparing two versions A and B of a web page, email, campaign, or product feature to determine which one performs better. It's used to make data-driven decisions about changes and optimizations. Candidates who can confidently answer these questions will have a strong foundation in data science and will be well prepared for interviews in the field. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and web stack development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies for freshers. 
For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make them ready for interviews.